When Governor Wolf took office in January, he inherited a number of very significant and difficult environmental issues that he was going to have to deal with, ranging from the Clean Power Plan, pending federal cleanup standards for the Chesapeake Bay, and resolving ongoing budget issues at the state level. For the past year, the majority of our policy work has been focused in on energy issues. Chief among those has been oil and natural gas development. Pennsylvania passed a law in 2012 that required significant upgrades to the state's oversight and management of the natural gas industry and the oil industry. We still haven't seen those regulations come to fruition. It's really been a focus of ours. We're hopeful that by early 2016, we'll have those regulations in place and in operation across the Commonwealth. It's a very important issue for Pennsylvania because Pennsylvania really has become a hub for shale gas development and there's no signs that that's going to be slowing down. Uh, most people have already heard of the Marcella shale uh, play and now operators are starting to access what's known as the Utica which sits below the Marcellus and which some people believe is going to be much more productive. Another issue that's important with respect to natural gas are methane emissions. Uh, the federal EPA just announced controls for methane emissions from new sources but we, uh, in a state like Pennsylvania where we have an extraordinary footprint of both unconventional and conventional operations that have been in play for a number of decades, we, we need to focus in on controlling methane emissions from those activities as, as well. The reason methane is so important is because over a short term period of about 20 years, it has about 80 times the greenhouse gas footprint as carbon dioxide, so it's a significant contributor to Pennsylvania's greenhouse gas footprint. The next big issue is implementation of the Federal Clean Power Plan. Uh, this fall, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency finalized its rule for how the states should proceed and the targets that they have to meet for a reduction of greenhouse gas emissions from stationary sources. It's going to be a very uh, tough climb for Pennsylvania because as a net exporter of electricity, we have one of the largest greenhouse gas footprints of any state in the country, so Pennsylvania is really going to be a model for how it can be done right. It also prevents a number of really good opportunities for advancing renewables, energy efficiency and energy reduction measure, measures which are going to have uh, really a cost savings for consumers across the Commonwealth. Another issue that's of particular importance to us is uh, surface impacts from underground coal mining happening here in western Pennsylvania. Every five years the state does an assessment report uh, detailing what the impacts are from underground coal mining and it's starting to show a very disturbing and lasting trend on impacts to water resources, including changes of character for waterways as well as dewatering in some instances. So we're starting to look at what changes need to be made to state law or what changes might need to be made to regulations that govern underground coal mining that provide better protection for water resources. These impacts happen from underground coal mining when there's subsidence at the surface level and it causes changes in the, the pathway or the characteristics of the streams or the wetlands and oftentimes requires restoration activities on the part of the mine operators. But what we're seeing in these reports is that despite their efforts to restore the streams, they're not able to. As we speak, we're more than five months removed from the deadline for passage of the state budget, and unfortunately we haven't seen any clear resolution in Harrisburg as to what the state budget framework is actually going to be. The reason this is of particular concern to us is because over the past 10 years there's been a dramatic decrease in support for the resource protection agencies like the Department of Environmental Protection and the Department of Conservation and Natural Resources. These agencies are really struggling even to fulfill their basic mission as more and more things get put on their plate like the Clean Power Plan and Clean Up Standards for the Chesapeake Bay. So 2016 is really going to be a pivotal year for Pennsylvania with respect to the environment because the state is going to publish and hopefully begin to implement uh, its plan for meeting the Clean Power Plan standards. It's going to have to announce and start to implement a strategy for watershed restoration and cleanup standards in the Chesapeake Bay. Another thing we'll be doing in 2016 is starting to take our lessons learned from a lot of our project work across the state, particularly with respect to an issue like stormwater, where we're working with local governments and municipalities to help them deal with that issue and how that can inform policy at the state level so there's more support for those efforts.